Hello crafters, it's Legendary Crafts here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this super adorable Amigurumi cat. Um, it uses, you, you can make it with stripes on its head, um, or you can just leave it like this one. Um, and this one has a white belly, and this one doesn't. And... Um, you can choose to use regular needle and thread, or you can use embroidery floss, um, and yeah. So to make these adorable kittens or cats, you're going to need two colors of yarn. I'm using yellow for the body and white for like the other color, I guess. And this one also has two colors. Um, you'll also need embroidery floss. A needle that the embroidery floss can fit in. Some eyes of some sort. You can use like buttons. I'm using safety eyes. You can also use like um, string or you can make your own eyes. And you'll need a yarn needle, a stitch marker, and a crochet hook. And I'm using a 4mm crochet hook, but you can use whatever you like best. And I also have some polyfill here. Okay, so now we're going to make a magic ring with 6 stitches. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. You take some yarn and you wrap it around your two fingers in an X. Now you take your hook, go um, under this first one, over the second loop. Now you can take your fingers out and you're going to grab some yarn. Yarn, yarn over, I guess, I think that's what it's called. And you're going to pull through. So, that's our first stitch. And now we're going to make five more. So, go through this loop thingy. Yarn over. Pull up through. Yarn over. And then slide these two back loops over. So now you should have two stitches. One, two. So I'm going to do that four more times. Um, two, three. And this is my last stitch. Okay, so now when you count your stitches, you should have six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we're going to go through our first stitch and we're going to do increases in every stitch. So that's just two single crochets in each stitch. So we're going to make our first single crochet. Take our stitch marker and put it on the stitch. Oh, and sorry about that noise. Um, and you're going to go back through that stitch and make a single crochet. And I don't know if you can see this. But on here, it's the pattern, and here it says increase in each stitch, so you should have 12 stitches when you're done. So now, once you've done two in this one stitch, you're going to do two in the next stitch. So this one. 
And sorry about the background noise. Um, that's my family in the kitchen. Um, I can't get both loops on my hook for some reason. Okay, so we're going to make an increase in the stitch, just like this. then you do that and your last stitch should be the one your stitch marker is on. Okay, so once you're done with that you should have 12 stitches and you can take your stitch marker out. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and the 12th one is on your hook. So now according to this we're going to do um, two single crochets and, I mean, one single crochet and then an increase. So we're going to go through our first stitch right here. And we're going to do a single crochet. And we're going to take our stitch marker and put it on the stitch. Just like that. And now we're going to go into the next stitch and we're going to do an increase. So just like this. Through. And you're going to repeat that until you have 18 stitches. So I'll just do the rest of this round with you. single crochet into the next stitch because I just did my increase and sometimes the stitch doesn't want the hook doesn't like let the hook in it I guess um, but but don't worry don't worry about that just get a don't worry about that, just get as much... Don't worry if you can't get your hook through the stitch, just get, like, just get as much of the stitch as you can. And now I'm going to go through the next one. And you can pause the video or, like, or skip ahead, or flash forward if you need to. I'm just going to go back. I'm just going to keep on doing this. Oh my god. Okay. So. Okay, sorry about that. My camera was low on battery. Anyways, um, when you're done, you should have 18 stitches. So I'm going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, five, wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18 is on your hook. Now we're going to go into the first stitch and do a single crochet and add our stitch marker. And after that, you're going to do another single crochet. And then you're going to do an increase. So, just like 
is two single crochets in the same stitch and I'll show you that one more time in case you need it so just one single crochet another single crochet and then an increase just like this and I'm gonna come back when I'm finished okay so once you're done with that round I'm gonna take my stitch marker out and you should have 24 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, and 24. Now you're going to do three single crochets and then an increase. So I'm just going to do my first single crochet. And then take my stitch marker like that. And then two more single crochets. One. And then in the next stitch, we're going to do another one. Just like this. And now you should have three stitches, and we're going to do an increase. So, just gonna do two stitches, two single crochets in the same stitch, just like that. And I'll do that with you one more time. So, just one, two. three and then an increase so just two single crochets and I'll come back to show you how to do the rest okay so I've done that I've done that now so you should have 30 stitches and I already counted mine but you can go ahead and count yours so now we're gonna do four single crochets and then an increase so I'm just gonna do this first one and attach my stitch marker just like that and then three more single crochets and then an increase and I think you got the hang of this so I'm gonna go off camera to finish the rest of this round okay so I'm back and once you finish that um, you should have 36 stitches so I already counted mine and I have 36. So now this is our last round that we're gonna do that involves increasing. So we're gonna do five single crochets and then an increase. So go into your first stitch and do one single crochet. Take your stitch marker and put it on the stitch. And then I'm going to do 
four more single crochets. So that's two so far. And five. And if you need to double check to make sure you've done all those, you can just go and count one, two, three, four, and five is on your hook. Now we're just going to do a regular increase, just two single crochets in the same stitch like how we've been doing. And I'm going to show you this one more time. So just five single crochets. So that's one, two, um, three, Four, five, and before I do an increase, here's a little tip if you ever get lost and don't know if you should increase. You count the first five stitches, or however many stitches, one, two, three, four, five, and then the next two are the increase, and then one, two, three, four, and five. So that's how I know that this next stitch is going to be an increase. I don't know if that made sense, but you can just count your stitches and see. And um, you're, so far it should be kind of curving inwards. Don't worry about that. Um, we need it to make the body of it. And you also don't have to worry about tucking this in because we're going to do that later. But I'm going to finish up this round so I'll see you when I'm done. Okay, so um, I've finished that round so now I'm going to take out my stitch marker. I'm going to count all of the stitches and you should have 42. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, and 42. So now we're going to do um, single crochets all the way around for rounds 8 to 19 and to keep track of them I like to take a note card and every time I finish the round oh so here's what I did to make this one um, I counted 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and every time I finished a row I would put a tally mark and I would keep on doing that until all my tally marks look like this. You can count however you count, but this is how I do it. So basically, if I just finished a row, I would add another one. And then I would keep on adding them until I finished all the rows and it looks like this. So... That's how I'm going to do mine, so I'm going to go off camera to do rounds 8 through 19. Well, I'm going to do the first round with you, but yeah, it's just single crochets all the way around. So... Um... This is... Um, I should probably talk to keep you entertained. Um, I changed the lighting for the 
last clip and for this one because and I added a lamp up here and I hope that helps because sometimes the regular light looks a little bit dark so I just wanted to help and um, add some more light so that you know what's going on because for some reason my camera doesn't like when you go too close it like gets all blurry um, but yeah I got some new yarn, um, uh, I got some new yarn on Wednesday, I believe, and I love it so much, and I use, I'm using my new yarn to make this, and I also used it to make this, and, um, yeah. This is taking me longer than I thought. Uh, I'm going back to school on Monday, but I'm going to have a new teacher. So I'm very excited for that. And, and by the time you're watching this, I'm probably already like in school. But I'm filming this during winter break on Friday for the second week. And, um, yeah. And also, I'm sorry if I have to split this up into multiple parts. It's just a really, um, it's pretty advanced and I don't think my camera has enough storage to film it all in one part so I'm doing it in two or maybe even three parts um yeah New Year, like, there's usually a countdown every year on the New Year, and it's like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. The, I, the count was off by almost a minute. That was really strange. But anyways, I'm excited for the New Year, and this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. But yeah, this cat is so cute and it's really worth it and um, I think the safety eyes looks better than buttons or um, yarn like so I'm just going to be using safety eyes like in this one. Um, the buttons are cute but I just like the safety eyes better. And I was calling one of my friends and she said that she likes the safety eyes more as well. So, and safety eyes are a lot easier to add than buttons. Because for buttons you have to like sew it in and you have to go through the yarn and not the stitches. Yeah. It's personal preference though, if you like the buttons more or if you really like the yarn, then you can go ahead and use those. I'm just going to be using safety eyes and yeah. Wow, there's almost seven minutes of, I've just been doing single crochets. 
Oh yeah, you can try making this on um, Lumi Um My sister asked me if she could make a Lumi if like she could follow this in Lumi because I followed a Lumi tutorial to make something out of Ami You can try with um, Lumi Um It will probably be like. I don't know if it'll be bigger or smaller. It depends. But yeah, anyways, I'm almost done with this row. So I did not expect this to take so long. But this is my last stitch. My last single crochet, and sorry if I'm a little slow, I'm new to Amigurumi. And anyways, I just finished that one, so now I'm going to make a tally mark here. And I'm just going to keep on making rows until I've done, uh, until I'm on round 20. So I'll see you guys back here when I'm done. Once you're done with all that, we're going to turn it inside out and we're going to put our eyes on. So you can put your stitch marker on the yarn loop on our hook and we're just going to count 10 loopy things. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And in between the 10th and 11th row, we're going to add our eyes. So I'm going to put mine in there, take the back, and put the back on. And now we're going to put the other eye on. If you want to know how to finish the rest of this cute cat, you're going to have to come back for part two. But it looks super duper cute, and I love it. You can distance the eyes out however far you'd like. And yeah, I'll see you in part two.